Update 1.4 dropped a little over a week ago, and even though I played the PC version during the last week of the PTS, I knew the changes were going to hit us console players like a ton of bricks. Probably the biggest and most controversial of the changes was to the armor mitigation meta, and it left us all wondering, what were they thinking? What's going on ladies and gents, it's Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer and it's been a couple of weeks since I last posted an episode of What Were They Thinking? Where I take a critical look at programming choices made by the developers at Massive Studios. Now as a whole, I honestly like most of what changed between 1.3 and 1.4 and I know there will be a lot of specific comments from those of you who view this video as to what you do not like about the latest update. I can learn to live with the gear set changes and weapon buffs and nerfs, loot drop tables and banshee shotgun players running around everywhere in the DZ. What I can't let slide is the way I think update 1.4 was headed and what we actually received when it comes to armor and armor mitigation. What it looked like we were getting when it came to gear selections was parity among the unique gear sets and more importantly value brought back to high end gear pieces. This reintroduction of all these high-end gear pieces to the gear tables would have opened up limitless possibilities for gear set combos. Since all gear pieces in World Tier 4 are at a gear score of 229, we could have had the opportunity to completely customize our gear for whatever build type we were going for. In addition, the new performance mod system would have given us a whole new level of customization and individuality. What we got was a facade. A mask, a farce when it comes down to gear modding and customization. Sure, you can equip any gear piece you want. You can mix four pieces of Sentry's Call with a reckless chest piece and savage gloves and not be in any danger of being kicked while matchmaking for a max level incursion due to a subpar gear score. However, what has me worked up is the armor mitigation caps and how you are railroaded into specking into armor and only armor. In order to survive in World Tier 4, agents who thought they would have limitless combo possibilities for major attributes and gear mods have quickly found out that all that shit they were promised has to be sacrificed for armor. I was working on a best in slot gear modding video early on in update 1.4 and just like Marco style, I halted all work on it because it would have been a huge waste of time. I might as well have uploaded an entire 5 minute video with the word ARMOR in huge caps because that's all we can spec into right now. Now I'm a realist and I know that in Meta 1.3 players could easily reach the armor mitigation cap without really trying and I do support lowering the cap as you progressively pick a higher world tier. But being forced to roll your chest piece, backpack, knee pads, holster and all 5 of your gear mods for additional armor takes us back into what we were trying to get away from in update 1.3 which were stock, cookie cutter builds. At best, and I mean at best, the player base has to hope that a gear piece drops in the main stat they want and with additional armor already attached so that they can spend their one valuable recalibration on adding an attribute of their choosing. You're screwed if said gear piece is in the wrong main stat and does not have armor already rolled. This effectively makes most of the unique and high-end gear pieces we loot as nothing more than mats or items to be sold to the vendors. My remedy for this would be to lower the total number of armor points needed to reach the armor mitigation cap by a small percentage so we can be free to spec into something other than armor. If that's not possible, perhaps give us two recalibrations per gear piece so I can not only roll into armor, which you are clearly requiring me to do, but possibly for skill power or SMG damage or really anything to help optimize my builds to my playstyle. Massive. Don't advertise sweeping changes to gear modding and optimization only to smack what is left of your loyal player base in the face and force them down one boring, predetermined modding path. As always, I would love to hear what you thought about my latest episode of What Were They Thinking? Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. In addition, if you could take the time to rate the video with either a thumbs up or down, it would be greatly appreciated. I would like to throw a huge shout out to Marco Style for the artwork he loaned me for my last few videos. In case you've never seen his division content, I will leave a link to his channel in the description below. Marco is an asset to our division community and produces some of the very best division content on YouTube. And remember for my channel, likes, comments, subs are loved. This has been Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer. Until my next The Division video, saying peace out.